Okay, I just wanted to talk a little bit about my gear and my impressions about my gear after my shakedown hike out on the uh, Lone Star hiking trail. <clears throat> now, first of all, I, I just love my Osprey pack. It's an Exos 58 liter, and I've, I'm just getting more and more used to it and handling it. It's still very, it's very comfortable. I don't have any problems with my shoulders or anything like that. Of course, I'm still using uh, the extra strap here that they in sent me uh, so it would fit around my belly. But, uh, you know, so far, it's just been a, a very comfortable uh, pack. And I haven't been using the brain for a good while now. And I don't think I'm going to need to. I think with the little bit I have left to get for my through hike, it's all going to fit in here. And I really, it wasn't a problem for me to get to everything that I needed. Uh, I don't, I know it's convenient to have that brain on there, uh, but uh, I don't think it's going to be that inconvenient for me to get to everything that I'm going to need. Okay, well, first let me talk about this. You remember in a recent video I purchased this to uh, help uh, roll out my uh, muscles and especially the bottom of my foot which sometimes hurts. Uh, I did that in the mornings and in the evenings and I, I think it helped. Uh, I don't, I'm sure it didn't hurt but uh, it seemed like in the morning time even though uh, I didn't get a lot of rest uh, that I, f I felt perfectly good to start out and you know I wasn't really sore uh, getting ready and and then once I hit the trail and, and you know everything was working pretty well so anyway I still plan on taking this and still uh, plan on using it and I do think it helped my foot now uh, on this last trip uh, I didn't filter any water uh, so I didn't use my Sawyer squeeze, and this is a uh, a uh, system, a gravity system. I still haven't used it. I will. I'll use it before my through hike. But uh, we went ahead and dropped, made water drops, three different ones along the trail at different trailheads, just hit the water, and uh, approximately 10 miles apart. So, you know, we didn't have to stop and, and mess with water. You know, it, it, since it had been raining, there was really plenty of water, but I'm the only one out of the four of us that had the, you know, a, a filtration system. Yes, heard they. Hi. Hi, baby. Yes. You fit my path. I could just take you, couldn't I? Yes, I could just take you. Oh, oh, oh. Can I do my video? Okay. Yes, yes, baby boy. Yeah. Is that good? Okay, now, my Big Agnes Copper Spur HVUL2 tent. Uh, I really love this thing. Um, and, yeah, there's only one little thing really that bothers me, and that is on the vestibules, uh, the rain fly. Uh, the zipper, uh, it gets caught a lot, uh, zipping those. So that's the only thing that bugs me. Other than that, uh, you know, it's a great tent and I love it. Now, on my food, here's my food bag. Now, I didn't take my stove on this trip and you know what, it didn't buy. I am going to take a, an air up mattress and I've pretty much decided on a Sea to Summit uh, ultralight uh, air up pad that's almost positively uh, right now what I'm gonna take now my enlightened equipment uh, revelation down quilt I love it uh, it didn't get that cold uh, on this trip but um, it did get down in the low 40s of course I'd already tested it before and uh, so I stayed toasty warm but this was a recent purchase uh, was the Sea to Summit, and I really, I really did like it. You know, I, I slept on it like this on my side, and occasionally sleeping on my Z-Lite pad, uh, 
the bottom would kind of slide out uh, from under me. If I made sure it was just tucked in real tight, uh, kind of at an angle back, then, uh, then it wouldn't do that. So it really wasn't a problem, and I really loved having that pillow. Okay, it's Saturday evening and I'm just finishing up a little walk. Uh, I uh, don't have my pack on and uh, this week's been a pretty good week. I've been getting into some of my exercise and my walking, but my knees have uh, been bothering me a little bit more this week than normal and that, that bothers me a little bit, concerns me just a little bit. I did real well on last week's hike had no problems with my knees, just kind of basic soreness. And so this week I've been real busy uh, at the schools, uh, did a lot of walking, and uh, I reduced on my exercise, little hikes in the neighborhood, I reduced my pack weight to take it easy because my knees started hurting. So it's kind of a, a balancing act right now of doing enough exercise to to continue to to lose weight and to strengthen my endurance and and all that to, to be able to to do my through hike but yet at the same time uh, not uh, hurt my knees so I'm, I'm trying to be very careful with those so anyway didn't get quite as much uh, exercise in this week that I uh, would have liked to <clears throat> But this week I've ordered uh, a few more items uh, for my through hike and I also just wanted to mention that in like a month uh, from now is uh, going to be my birthday and around the time that I started this channel a year ago and my goal was to lose 150 pounds by my birthday this year so be watching very closely in the next uh, few weeks here and we're gonna see if I am able to reach that goal guys thank you so much for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for sharing my videos I'll see you next week